it's raw every goddamn year. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Man, serve them raw, goddamn. Subscribe to serving it raw and let's keep it all the way funky, uncut, raw. Serving it raw just like my boy Gutter King. <laughs> Yes, Lord, you didn't tap into Serving the Raw Podcast. I'm your host, Gutter Kane, the Gutter Man, the Pyrex Iron Chef. I have a special guest today. This duo right here has been uh, killing it. Uh, they've been grinding. Uh, they've been uh, killing every song that I've seen them on, as well as they are a breath of fresh air for hip hop. I want to welcome to Serving the Raw, Phoenix and Flo. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> yes, Lord. So I know this has been a long time coming, so I'm going to kind of dive in with these questions. Now, where do both of y'all hail from for my listeners and uh, viewers? Me? I'm from yeah. Harlem, New York. Okay. Me? I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. Be I'm from the Y. Ooh. All right. All right. Now, how's <laughs> so, uh, now what's all the story? Now sports. what's the story behind y'all two meetings since y'all are? Oh, that's the <laughs> story. You want? You want to? Yeah, go ahead. You get in with the story, and I might elaborate a little. My version and his version. Yeah. Um, come. It all boils down to being the same thing, but my version is that um, I went out to have a a quick drink, have a good time, and to support. Uh, a band that I was interested in working with. And um, so I went and I was going to the bar, just walking around, you know, just scoping the place out, you know, where are the exits, um, you know, just getting crazy. <laughs> <Where the exits? laughs> but, <laughs> and um, yeah, people were following me around. Uh, a few men were following me around. And I asked him to be my fake boyfriend. For protection purposes, I said, hey, do you mind helping me? Okay. But earlier, like uh, maybe 30 minutes prior to that, we had gotten introduced by a mutual friend. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he was like, oh, you got to meet this guy. You got to meet him. Oh, I got somebody I need you to meet. And I'm like, okay. And so I went to meet him and everything. And he had his camera. He was like, all right, I'm going to take some shots of you. You know, and I liked him. I was like, okay. Um, yeah. And then I was like, I came back, I circled back, and I was like, hey, do you think you can, you know, I feel pretty weird, can you help me? And I was like, you know what, why not? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would I say no? Like, I didn't even look at her like, let me see if she looked good at first. I just was like, you know what, you asked for some help, I'm right here, you didn't ask nobody else, maybe this is what I'm here for. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can um, see it. I wound up there by myself because I was uh I looked at the I looked at the flyer online and I'm like, yo, my 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 homie is gonna be here, so I might as well just go and support them. And I'm gonna bring my camera anyway, right? Uh-huh. And and I can get some, I wanted to get some uh some pictures of Maya because Maya was the headliner that night, and I wanted the pictures for my photo for my photo page so in my mind i'm just going to get some quick shots you know uh the mutual band that we know i've already yeah. been working with them you know what i'm saying so so we in the same section and the funny thing is when i look back at the pictures the pictures look like we already knew each other yeah so um night goes through at the end i think we were like Yo, she was like, yeah, thank on my you. Way out, yeah. We went from photos to just hanging out sometimes. Just, what you doing? Chilling? You know? Yeah. I, then we wind up becoming neighbors. So that really just did the whole thing. Yeah. I moved into her neighborhood. Across, like, right. Where? Yeah. Oh, damn. Okay. So y'all was destined to meet each other eventually. <laughs> That's what it feels like. I feel like we would have met anyway because of our mutual friend. And I used to go out to support them so much. I used to go out to support the band so much. Cause that would have been my maybe third or fourth outing to support them. Mm -hmm. And then I was there by myself to catch the vibe and he was there by himself. 
And I feel like I would have just consistently kept going out by myself as I had been. But I don't and, go out that much. Oh, yeah, he doesn't go out that much. But, I mean, you would have been maybe doing... Photography for somebody. Oh, right? yeah, you would have been doing something. Oh, right. Or either performing, yeah. So I feel like we would have met regardless, which is a funny thing. Um, but, it, yeah. It, was a, it literally felt like it was a force meet because I had to move into your neighborhood. Oh, yeah. Because I went to try to get another house. And I got scammed. He got scammed. Oh, that. shit. So I had to move into the neighborhood because I had a short period of time to hurry up and get a spot. You know, um, just moved out of the spot that I was in in another area. Uh, and I literally had days like, you know, you know how some people in that transition, I'm in a transition. I'm at a hotel for a week. So it's like, nah, man, I got to I gotta find my spot like right now. Yeah, we were backing up out of my driveway. We were backing on, and I saw and that sign. Like, oh, okay, okay. Now, so I know Flo, you are you were doing music. I know Phoenix, you were doing music as well with the band. So now, once y'all hook up, I would probably you would you say a fair assessment was y'all decided like, hey, let's let's start the duo together. Nah, no, we hung out for two two and a half years. We hung right? out for a very yeah yeah two two and a half, two and a half years. And didn't do music together until going into we going into what the third now maybe we just we we just this year we, we this just year. been born this year was yeah. when we started February literally and we were only we would be in the car um and his son was in the back seat and we would all just turn on something would be freestyling oh my bad we would be freestyling and you know going back and forth just having fun and that that would be like. Daily, you know what I mean, or every we time we're in the car together, we never used to do done. some music together. We just was having fun, and I would always go on like you know YouTube and the the beast leads and all this other stuff, the leasing of the beats, and I'm like, oh, I like this one. Always, he was like, all right, you better stay away from now. Yeah, I was like, yo, stay away from them lease beats because I'm like, I had some experiences with leasing some beats, but she pulled this one beat up one day and we just freestyled. Yeah, we, we, and we, I'm like, yo, we gotta record this. We recorded it and then we was yeah. like, and it was, yeah. it was, we a, released it. My friends went crazy. My, my supporters went, went crazy. crazy. They went crazy. We was like, wait. I'm talking about, we had people on both sides buying the single for $50. Yeah, somebody bought the single for $50. I, somebody, I think some somebody bought it for $100. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, people were really showing love. I can believe that. I can believe that. Look, y'all are y'all are the first, and I'm a hip hop head, so I go, I go back. Y'all are the first male and female hip hop duo that I've ever heard. Ever. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That, that, that I that I know of. Now, I'm not saying that no one else has done it, but the right. I think we're doing to something. Yeah. Yeah. The closest <laughs> that I've ever seen was Groove Theory, but, but the, which, which I told you. Groove oh, Groove. Somebody yeah. said that. You that was me. It. Yeah. That was me. Yeah, that was me when I first yeah. reached out. He said team. it. Yeah. Yeah. But I was like, I heard that before. Yeah, Groove Theory, the Fuji's uh, minus one. For my viewers and listeners, I will say this. Phoenix and Flo are carving their own lane. I want to say that first. Because I don't like to compare other people. I to feel that. Oh, but for sure. The, for sure. The vibe, the vibe musically that y'all give me is if Common and Lauren Hill created a group together. Wow. That is the vibe that you give me when I listen to that's, music. That's, that's a big compliment. That's you. Yeah. And, and our favorite peoples, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Like that's she, what, oh, well, well, I don't even want to say, I'm, you know, but yeah, like I got a picture of Common and my young, my youngest son when my youngest son was around six. five or six. Yeah. I, yeah, they, I got a picture of them two together because I'm like, it was kind of like for me, I was like, let me plant this. Let me put him next to Common because this is what I want him to be like as a, I want him to be an artist. Gotcha. And when okay. Common was in the, in the spot where I was at, I was like, yo, can you take a picture with my son? He was like, of course. Yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all give me like, like if anybody was thinking like, damn, I wanted to hear those, I want to hear those two artists together in a group. Well, they don't have to go no further. <laughs> they don't have we're to here. Go no further. Yeah, y'all have that now. So we appreciate that compliment. 
Oh, oh you yeah, definitely. That's, that's huge. Yes. Look, I'm taking you know, that. I'm running with that. Honor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's what y'all music would give me if if somebody told me to summarize it. That's that was the right. that's the vibe I got from it. Like especially when I saw uh, four three two one because I actually was going through Instagram and scrolling and that video came up as you know like um they have like exactly. different ads. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that came up, and it's like when That's I first funny. heard it, I was just like, "Damn!" And the the bounce, the coming back and forth, like how y'all bounce off each other, reminds me of like a like Jada Kiss and Styles P when they bounce off each other. Ooh, I just I'm not a compliment, yeah. but Ooh. I just never I never heard it from I never heard a female rapper and a male rapper together. Gotcha. Uh, As a duo like that, yeah. So, okay. But now, uh, Phoenix. Now, how did you get involved in the uh the when we move music video? Because you were in the music video, which was a common. I was movie. most definitely in the music video. And I got to say something after y'all say something. Okay. Um, after y'all finish this, I have to say this. Yeah. Uh, a friend of mine was on set and she was uh, working the creative behind the scenes. And um, they were picking girls for it. Um, I was one of those girls. Um, yeah, I got on the plane. It was so it was so random because I had just got to Atlanta. I had just moved here uh, with someone that I knew. I moved here and then I flew right back out. I was like, oh, I'm not missing this opportunity. Like, I don't care. Like, what, what I, what's going on? I dropped everything. Um, got to the video, helped with some behind the scenes thing. Got some clothes steamed up. You know what I mean? I was helping them um they're they're really really good people shout out to them by the way i love them i love the whole camp they're so kind and endearing um yeah and it just blends with my creative side so it it meshes very well uh yeah i got a look picked it out picked my you know my hair <laughs> my look and yeah i got on set and we killed it it was the energy was, was so big like it was it was so big like everybody was Oh man, it was it was very legendary, and I'm happy to have been a part of it. Move the silence, we moved the loudest ancestors in my dreams. They moved the wildest, they played about us. It's legendary yeah. for me too. Legendary. For what sure. everybody don't know, and I don't even know if I shared this with Phoenix. This might be the first time you hear this. So Phoenix and I are hanging out like daily. I, I had just did a a party, I think a year before. Uh, birthday party a year before we met or something like that right i'm seeing phoenix every day on this video and i'm not even it's not registering that this is the girl that i'm hanging out with every day <laughs> so one day i'm sitting there and i'm watching the video after we didn't hung out for a month two and i'm looking at the girl and, and i'm like why do they keep showing this particular girl <laughs> more than once right i'm like this chick right here this model was getting the most love is yeah. what I'm thinking in my head. And I'm like, wait, I know those tattoos. Wait, <laughs> this is the I was I was blown away because I'm like, yo, number one, common one of my favorite artists. Number two, the video is fire. The song is fire. Yeah. And then Phoenix is in it. And I did it didn't even register all of the time we was hanging out together until I'm like, yo, I watched this woman every day in this video wondering. Why did they put her in there more than once? Yeah, because you know they, they had her then, all in the video and they had her right, in the commercial. <laughs> they had right, a little commercial like, that they did. I'm sitting there like, and then one day I'm like, dang, I'm hanging out with this person. This is wild and weird that I'm really just figuring this out. And that that video would come on after my mm -hmm. private video that I'm watching myself. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at the party that I had and just reminiscing like yo this was a dope party i'm looking at my brothers my friends everybody and then that video automatically would come on every time after it i ain't tell you that did i hey boo uh oh look at that look at that fun fact <laughs> hey, fun fact well um i want to also give a shout out to sion kuti because he was he was on that song uh, as well. i almost yeah. I, I forgot when well, i said yeah. black thought in comment i forgot uh, yeah yeah. yeah that joint's fire that's right, a now, classic Flo. song I got something for you too. Now, uh, now, Flo, th this is like three questions in one for you. Okay. okay. Now, you've changed your name a couple times. I changed my name okay. and I changed the game. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you are also part of the Mad 100 
under the iconic 100, 100 mad uh-huh 100, 100 mad. mad okay and then you were also performing on you performed on shade four or five street sweepers radio right legendary k uh dj k slay may he rest in peace yes indeed so, um, indeed. let's start with the name change why did you choose to change your name did okay you so i changed my name because i was known as a I was known as a Christian hip hop artist for a very long time. Okay. Like I'm talking maybe 15 years or so. And when I met Fredro Starr, we was on the phone one day and he was like he wasn't saying, "Hey, I don't want you to be associated with that, but we got to do something different because people know you from that." And he said, "I think we should call you Sick Flow." As soon as he said it, people were already saying to me, yo, you got a sick flow. And they used to say, yo, Rick, sick flow. And so I kept hearing it for a long time. And then I put out a series called Six Sixteens. So every time I did a 16, I would call it Six Sixteens, but my name wasn't sick flow yet. Okay. So it all just kind of messed together. And when he said it, I was like, yo, that makes perfect sense. All right, I'm sick flow. So Fred Joe Starr gave it a name, sick flow. Sticky Fingers and Fredro Star started 100 Mad probably over 20 years ago. Um, if you look back or listen back to old music, they was hollering 100 Mad before they had 100 Mad Soldiers is what they call them. Mm -hmm. It's about 100 of us all around the world, okay. you know, in this, you know, umbrella of who Onyx is, you know. Um, so that started that. And um, I think that's that's it. That's it. Fredro gave me that name. Oh. Oh, the uh, Shade Four Five. Shade Four Five came about because I'm hanging out with my hundred man family, right? I'm in the studio, Fred Joe Star, my other homies. We all, they all on the mic killing it. I'm taking pictures in the background. <laughs> K Slay says, because they kept saying my name, they kept saying your sick flow, sick flow. Fred Joe, I mean, uh, K Slay says, so who? Who's Sick Flow? Like y'all keep talking about Sick Flow. You mean the man with the camera? And Fred Joe's like, yeah, he spit too. And K Slay's like, but but why you got the camera? Like, if you can spit, I want to hear you. Get him on the microphone. So he he pulled me. I was like, yo, I ain't come here for this. I was trying to do the behind the scenes, make sure we look good. You know what I'm saying? K Slay was like, nah, I, I want to hear you spit. So I just had to let it go. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. Rest you is know, history. Yeah. Well, now, how, how did you feel meeting K Slay? You know, because you know that's the drama king. That's legendary DJ. Oh man. So that's why I was in the background chilling because I was trying to keep my cool. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't want when you meet the people that you always wanted to meet. You can be fanning out, and I didn't want to fan out, so I just kept my distance, and I'm just taking pictures. Boom, boom, boom. Being real quiet. But he felt something that he was compelled to ask me to come to that microphone. So, man, that that was a move in my life that I'll never forget. Ever so grateful for it. And then he was the person that reached out to me and said, I want to put you on Rolling 200, which came after the Rolling 110. Because um, I don't know if you know about that, but there's 110 MCs that, on a project that Case they put together. Uh, yeah. Myself, Fredro, Twister. You talking about the mixtape? I'm talking about the song. It's a 44 oh. minute song called Rolling 110 Deep. Yeah, you gotta watch it. Yeah, you gotta check that out. That's 40 minutes of straight legends. Is that the one where he did like the video and it had like different rappers? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, because y'all yeah. have the chemistry that y'all have and y'all are able to bounce off each other so so greatly, I would say, can you walk us through like like, what's y'all lyrical process? Like, y'all lyric writing process? Like? It's hilarious. Because that's why she laughing. Because, <laughs> <laughs> dang, she might, I might get punched for this later. But it's kind of like Pictionary. That's how her flow, because in Pictionary, there comes a, a spot where you just got to holler out stuff, random stuff. Okay. Yeah. So, so when we, in the process, you know, Phoenix might be like, Go flow, slow, 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 flow, flow, go, yo, yo. You know what I'm saying? And, but it's her process, so I can't say nothing. But sometimes she might say something. I'll be like, where did that come from? 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's it's normally the beats. We throw the beats on and we just we just go. Yeah, like we we just go. And then we have our uh recorder next to us. Yeah, we got so many phones. We're like, yo, 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 pull up the phone, pull up. Right, right, right. Okay. So. And then we'll have it and then he'll do like a we we'll be riding and then I hear I'm like Okay. It's, it's a fire, a fire melody, fire cadence, yeah. something. And then we just start feeding off of that. We'll pull over. Yeah. We'll start writing anywhere. Oh yeah. Four three two one was um written in a in a burger in the front of a burger outside spot. of a burger spot. Like, yeah, we and we set in that I I I had yeah. the, the biggest writer's block. I was like, and he's gone with his, he know what he's doing. He's oh yeah, it's like flow and everything. Uh, uh, and I'm just like <laughs> and then I'm like, well, I need to do something. Like, I need a pen to the pad. I need something. So I'm writing. I'm writing random things on random pages. And I'm just like, something has to hit. And I'm like, you know, you know what? We're going to sit outside, get some air. Because we had a studio session. Yeah. We had a studio session. That, and we were late because traffic. traffic, instead of getting there in 15 minutes, it, it, took, it an hour. took an hour. So God, we had man. to ca ultimately cancel the session. Shout out to my knock. Mm -hmm. um, we had to cancel the session and then we just sat out there for hours, like made sure we got that. walking back and forth, writing, playing the music. What are we gonna say? What do I feel? And I was like, I had written some a uh, rom com line. Like I was I like rom com straight from a sitcom, but I, I I didn't know what to put before or after. It was just in my head. And when he heard it, he was like, nah, what's that rom-com you was talking about? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, babe, I don't know. No, don't get me wrong, but the process is it's fun. Sometimes it can be frustrating, especially if he's speeding past me with lyrics. And I'm just like, well, I only have two bars. <laughs> and he's like, you know, got a 32. I'm, I'm on it. I got <laughs> stuff that I can... Put in if I don't want that, and I could. He's writing two verses on my one, and I'm just like, oh man. So, but, but everything you always come with the prolific type of. It's kind of like it, it'll be a moment where the whole lines will come to her, and she'll just spit them out, and I'm like, dang, I gotta sometimes piece together the stuff like that. But she'll get a whole a whole picture. You yeah. know, like. Man, I want to get it like that. So we get it yeah. so many different ways. Because sometimes I might be driving and I'll spit out a line and she's like, "We need that. That's it. That's it." So I it's ain't gonna lie, man. Y'all both got some like it, I get just different mixed feelings when I listen to y'all. When I listen to y'all songs, even when I listen to uh, the cool on that. That's now whose song is that? It's Chalice song. Shout out to Chalice and B Slayer. Okay. It's Chalice song. So Chalice and B Slayer. Um, I think originally they 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 moved from um LA to, to um Texas. Um, but when they settled down, B Slayer hit us up and he was like, Yo, this is what I'm working on. Um, uh, we interested in doing this, and they sent us a sent us a record. And I think that wasn't the first record, that was the second record. It was two they sent. And when we heard cool on that, we was like, that's it. Oh, yeah. I was that's like, it. Like, we, we jumped into that studio, I think, the next day or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we sent that joint back. We wasn't trying to miss that record. That's yeah, like, we, we, we didn't want to miss that one because uh, Beat Slayer I get, is I get so much shit when I listen to y'all. Like, I get, like, it's like when flow, it's like when you rap, I, I'm getting lyrical and then like metaphors and then when all kinds of things. Yeah, and then it's like when Phoenix come in, I'm you know, she can sing and then she has like this mm -hmm. this this energy, like this Erica Badu like type energy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> so it's like I don't know, it's like a it's like I a, I don't know, it's like a, a plethora of different feelings uh, like he said see. it. A plethora of different. Hold on, wait, I need that. Let's play. Oh, I mean, that's, who, <laughs> that's who we are though. It's like I never want anybody to ever get into a space where they think they know who we are when it comes to how we're going to present art. Yeah, man. Because we go a lot of different ways. Like, they won't know if we are a hip hop group, if we are R&B group, or what kind of group we are. Because I just say super group. I say super group. Because we, we do movies, too. Oh, yeah. We working you on know, some movies. Everything. Shout out to Sites. We're, we're working on everything. So it's not. That. 
I'm gonna get to that. Don't no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna get to the movie part. Yeah, <laughs> to give y'all a chance to talk about that. So, what artists are on y'all wish list then for future collaborations? Ooh. Do y'all have any, like a I'll list? Tell you one thing. I tell. All right, I'm gonna go old school on them. Go ahead. Who you got? I'll play. Give, give, give me got? three. Give me three from each one of y'all if y'all. Three from each one of us. Okay. Yeah. All right. Who Common. Got? Common definitely on both okay. of our. All right. I'm gonna go old school. I'm gonna say Brandy. Okay. Oh, all right. Gotta have a brandy track. Okay, Phoenix, what you got? Mm -hmm. We gotta do. Let's say. Nothing red, you know. Yo, yo. <laughs> yo that's what was in my head. That was in my head. Red and meth. Red and meth. We gotta rock the stage with red and meth one day. That would good. be like I can see them across the stage. And us to cross the stage from them and them spitting back and forth. Like, it just feels like a freaking video game. Man, we're super proud of him, too, man, with the whole, the acting. He is killing it. And Red is one of, when I, let me say this. Red, man, is one of the yeah. dopest souls in the world. When I tell you I have met a lot of artists, you know, you, you, you're super dope soul. Like you're gonna get the real person. You ain't gonna get somebody acting like an artist. You're gonna get the the soul. You know what I'm saying? It's totally yeah. different, man. And I met a lot of people. Can't say that about a lot of artists out here, but Red Man is a special individual. And I can understand why him and Meth work so well together, man. Cause I'm pretty sure they got kindred spirits. Yeah. Hey, so, man, we got All right. Spirits. So Phoenix, so Phoenix said Meth the Man and Red Man. So now it's back on you, Flo. All right. So you let's gotta, see. You gotta you gotta pick your second one. Meth and Riz, Brandy. So was oh shoot, man, we gotta do a record with um, we gotta do a record with Black. Oh, like that? No, no. Was 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 six L A C K Black? You talking about Black? Where his, his his instead of a B, he has a six. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I've heard yeah. the song that he did with J Cole. So yeah, I okay. got you. Who you gonna say? Yeah. Erica, Erica Badu. Erica Badu? Okay, I can see that. Yeah. Oh, man, I like, I love Indy Army and Joe Scott, too. Oh, Music Soul Child. Oh, oh my gosh. See? One. All right. But the, I'm I'm going to stick to that. I'm going to comment mm -hmm. Erica and Meth and Red. So, okay. shoot. And I said what? You said Meth and Red, so that means you got to pick one. No, no, no. no. Um, we gotta, we gotta... He, you know, uh, Flo said Brandy. Um, Brandy, Meth and Red. Okay. Um, so, yeah. yeah, those are my three. But we get a bonus one. Yeah, because since we both picked Red and Meth, uh, yeah. hmm. One more. One more. Uh, you know LL. what? Hold up. Hello. LL. Between, between, no, well, because if we're going to go, if we're going to go to round, if we're going to go to round of, old, of, of classic, because I ain't going to say old school, I know we, we say use it. No. I'm gonna say one of our personal somebody in our our family, our brother. Rakim. Chip. Chip Fu. Ah. Chip Fu. <laughs> Chip Fu okay. is equivalent to being on a record with Buster. Oh man, you yeah, no, get the same Chip, Chip is, Chip is, Chip is crazy. crazy. Chip is Chip Fu, okay. All Chip, right. Chip Fu. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad Chip we got Fu. a bonus because yep. Chip for sure. Chip, Chip Fu. He just dropped a new record too. Damn, yeah, I know everybody looking. All, look, a lot of pioneers dropping records, man. Yep. Yeah, yep. and all yep. of them are dope because they're most yeah. definitely it's coming back full circle that most definitely. Oh, yeah, because yeah. 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 I'm not sure where it was going. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. LL Cool J back in the studio. Cause... Oh, yeah, he getting some good numbers too. Yeah. He on the charts MC right Light now. Just dropped, look, he got on MC Light ass. She dropped an album too. Yep, yep. He sure <laughs> did. Yep. Yeah. And I and I heard some of her stuff is fire. Always. Okay. Fun. Now this is why I get to the uh my golden point of my uh interview is what are y'all top five favorite rappers of all time, dead or alive? Mm, y'all favorite good. rappers. So it could be one that y'all listen Oh, we to got them. the same top one. We got the same top one. And, uh, and it, it makes a lot of people mad, but I know we got the same top. Okay. Do y'all want to do five together? Or do you want to do five together? Let's do five together. Let's do five together. Five together? Okay. Let's right. do five works, together. Okay. Coming in at number one. It is. And we don't even have to number one. We can oh, yeah. My, wait, I'll play it in no particular order, but you can start. In no particular one. order. Okay. Gotcha. So we're going to do three stacks. Three stacks. Ooh, Common. Right. Common. Eminem. Eminem, definitely. Dang. And 
Oh, wow. Dang. Um, did we say Black Thought? No. Okay, Black Thought. Okay, so you um, three three stacks, Common, Eminem, Black Thought. You got one more. Um, That's a hell of a list, too. Right? <laughs> let's see. We, that we, is got one, we got one more. It will have to be a top 10, though. Uh, right. Oh shoot! Because I, I, I grew. Well, you know what? Then can we get a bonus? Because I want to say Rock Him because I grew oh, up off of Rock Him. Okay, so I, I'll but, give y'all a bonus. I give y'all a bonus. So, oh, so can we get a bonus? I don't know where you're gonna go with me on this one, but this person that I'm gonna say, I don't know nobody that destroys the collaborations like him. Oh my gosh, J Cole. J Cole. Okay. Okay. J. Cole. Yeah. 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 J Cole. Okay. That that right. that that. Because we had a lot of J Cole talks. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, so we got Cole. Well, you had um, you had Black three Thought, stacks, three stacks, Black Thought, Common, Common, Rakim, Rakim. I yeah. got, I got, I got another one. And Eminem. Eminem. That was five. I got, right got another one. You want? <laughs> I got one more. I got one more bonus. Go ahead. In my in my top five, I would have to say Sick Flow. Oh snap! Oh shit! That's what's up. Look at that. Oh snap! <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Nah, I'm not even biased when I say that. I'm just saying, like, it's it's I I haven't heard uh like a oh this is your verse like none of those. It's always good. It's always witty. It's always like punchlines, it's always something to keep you engaged, you know. And I'm a big fan of that. So yeah, I will have to. See you know, it's, you know, it's funny that you say that. Um, I remember I'm, I I feel like I made a, a, a some young lady mad out here in this world one day because I was on an interview, and a girl asked me, "Hey, who was your celebrity crush?" And I was like, "I'm gonna have to say Phoenix." <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, I lost some followers that day. <laughs> hey man, that's, hey, y'all got that brown sugar. Uh, what's that? Uh, Love Jones. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I mean, I mean, just being honest because it's like we're able to look beyond just our connection and and, and really appreciate. appreciate each other's. How you gonna use my word? <laughs> appreciate each other's art. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. That is kind of funny though. We do that. Chemistry we do that. is impeccable, man. Y'all like that that's shit. one of my favorite words too. And I'm gonna shout out to Mike Tyson for that. Because one time <laughs> when Mike Tyson said impeccable, you know, and he said it with his lisp, I was like, that is the man right there. Yeah, man. Y'all chemistry is crazy, man. Like that should be making me smile. Like I'll just be like, damn, like <laughs> that's what's up. Cause it, cause it's almost so, like, you know what I'm happy about? What's I'm that? happy that we were friends first for all, all that that time and actually got to just spend like a very neutral, fun. Mm -hmm. I was like, but now I can see. Mooch. What up, man? What up, bro? Oh, man, look at this classic Nas album. Yeah. Omatic was timeless. Oh, you in the Nas too? Definitely. I'm slow, by the way. I know exactly who you are. So would you be down to catch one of my shows? That sounds dope. Let me get your phone. In a world full of deception and betrayal, mm. into this flow movie. <laughs> you know let's dive into flow the movie. So, uh, what's going yeah. on? Because y'all have a movie that y'all are doing as well. Are y'all 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 finished with it? No, we almost finished. It'll be finished in the new year. It'll be finished. Yeah. It's we might flow do the movie. I'm just featuring in it. It's not my movie. It's his movie. What's the problem? Uh, 
but then it segues into our movie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, what's the premise? Uh, <laughs> well, man, the craziest thing in the world is we don't want to give too much information on it, only because so many things are changing while we are actually creating. Okay. So, it's some things that are not in it that's about to because we're about to get our script chops on. So we're about yeah. to we're about to write our first scene for us for the movie. We're about to pitch it to the director. Okay. So um, and this is the idea we came up with. Like, hey, let's try this. You know what I mean? So we're yeah. about to write write a, a script out ourselves, learn it, record it, shoot it to him, and see what he feel about it. And he's gonna be like, all right, we're gonna put this in a movie. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh yeah, yeah. Now that's my that's my uh. I think that's my personal strength when it comes to that. Like, I wouldn't probably call myself an actor in this stage, but when it comes to improv, I'm literally, you can put me with anybody and I'll be like, if they say, hey, this is it, I'll, I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm ready for that part. Now, Phoenix on the other end, she's like, throw me a script. I'm ready to learn it because that's what she, you know what I mean? She wants that. Mm -hmm. And I'm more like on a on a Wayne's tip, like you just tell me the topic and let me go. Okay. Now, are y'all gonna have a soundtrack for this movie? Oh, of course. Oh yeah. That's literally how I started. The song out. that you heard on one of the scenes was actually one of our songs. Got it. Got it. Okay. They just put the instrumental up there. Yeah. It's one of our songs. Yeah. Yeah. So scoring is another thing that we're going to be getting into. A lot more film. Um, so this the flow of the movie is literally just us getting our feet wet so we can yeah. go on to this next thing and we're having a great time with it too. So shout out to Sice on that for shout actually putting us in the movie because literally it started out I was an extra. So the I don't even know if the movie was really called flow like that. In the beginning, it was totally. I think y'all had that moment after we did our interview. Okay, hold on, 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 because when you just said that, Phoenix looked at you like she didn't even know that. So, <laughs> so yeah, on. yeah. Okay. So, how did the movie come about? Like, so I got a, I got a good friend that's a director and an actor now. His name is Sice. He shot my first. Uh, 16s down here in Atlanta when I first started um, like saying hey I need some content okay. um, actually my very first one knockout the engineer shot it Okay. alright so met Sice can't remember how I met Sice and he started shooting all my music videos he kind of gave me that whole photography film bug um, but he came he's in New York but he comes down here and he started on this movie I was, he just was like, hey, I'm doing this. I want you to be a part. But it wasn't, hey, I'm doing this. This is, but I'm looking at the script and I'm like, yo, this sounds like me. Yeah, that was the moment I was talking about. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. And, it's like, and, wait, this sounds like, <laughs> and he was like, all right, bro. Right. And then it just turned into a wee thing. Like it just literally morphed into the movie. Yeah, we did a scene and it, it was really nice. Yeah, yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Initially, the movie wasn't about flow, flow. It was about flow, and it had a lot to do with an artist breaking into the industry, him being the manager of the artist, okay. and it just going the way that it goes. But I wasn't the artist, per se, off top. It wasn't about his life off the right. top. But now mm -hmm. it most definitely is. And now no, that's, that's, that's the direction it's going now, though. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's about him now. Yeah, yeah, people really, really get to hear him and see his story. Yeah, like front row seat kind of vibe. We we got good plans for it. Yeah, so okay. it's it's a lot of. Um, You're most definitely gonna get an invite. Sorry to cut you off. You're getting an invite. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, most definitely. I appreciate. Hey, hold that. up, is this 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 is our this is gonna be our first Phoenix and Flow interview? Oh, first. Yeah, I haven't seen any other interviews because Rhymes and Politics <laughs> comes after this. Ah, you got, you got the first. Yeah, you got the first. Already <laughs> yeah. serving a roll with the first. Oh shit! Yeah. Check out the merch. You know what I mean, yeah. <laughs> damn it, every year is raw. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Well, shit. I'm down to my last question. So, uh, what well, can you give us any hints about your debut album? You know, like what's next for you? 
We can give some hints on the four for four. We can give you hints on four for four because four for four is coming up next. Yeah, four for four is a collection of remix covers, okay. right? And originals. Yeah, so we're mixing that together. Um, four and four, so we call it the four for four, the fo fo fo. So we're gonna rock over some classics that people yeah. are familiar with, and then they, we're gonna give them original to show them that we right now we have our four three two one yeah we have our ready or not by the fujis we have uh, our any up oh he ain't heard any we up have, yeah you gotta hear that yeah I've and heard that then one. we have all i need um chalice and beat slayer have our first feature first feature chalice and, and beat um, slayer. Yeah. yeah we just we're just working on so yeah. much about that so we're gonna have different volumes of that so we it is it's just never ending. Literally, the four 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 is never ending. As far as the album goes, we really want to figure out uh, the Grammy situation because I want to be able to submit. I got to figure out dates and times. Can we do it? Yeah. First quarter, fourth quarter. Like I'm, I'm not really sure. You know. So we got to figure that part out. But it is coming soon. And then the album four 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 is dropping. Simultaneously? Yeah, something like that. We're going to be dropping them. Right? Gotcha. And back then back. the album is going to follow. So probably album by the second quarter. And, and No, no, later. And for those of you that are listening and watching right now, this is literally what happens when you're independent. A lot of the things you are learning along the way. So that's why we're careful with how we do the placement of an album because when we release it it has to be released at the right time yeah you know what i mean especially if we want to be considered for grammys and this that or another and sometimes you know some people are like man forget the grammys blah, blah. no but this is something that we want to do it's something we want to be a part of whatever goes on behind the scenes we don't know nothing That's about all that them. We but, just want to uh, put some great art out and be recognized. For best it. new group, best new um, duo, duo, best everything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. All of that. We're gonna get that. That's what we're going towards. But anyways, yeah, for the album, no later than uh, second quarter next year. Yes. Okay. Um, the four for fours are gonna keep dropping, and the visuals are gonna keep coming. Yeah. And we may even put parts of the four for four on the original side on the album so people will already kind of be familiar you know with the with the list that we have you know the rollout of that so yeah yeah so some of our favorite songs that we grew up on and all of that we may touch it because it's like one we want to tribute to the people that put out great yeah, art, but at the same time it's like we're celebrating this music and then putting our spin on it not to just take it and do what we want with it but to pay homage for pay it. homage and 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 shoot and shoot bring that thing back you know what i mean because a lot of times when people hear our version they go back to the original version and see yeah. oh so where did they oh they got this from here look i heard this so much right before. they go they go back to the foundation and that's a good thing yeah Yep, yep. And if it's not if, but when we put out something dope enough, it makes them curious to know sometimes where it comes from. You know what I mean? And if I, when an artist does it right, sometimes it sounds like it's theirs. You know? You know <laughs> what's sometimes crazy? People... Like, I'm big in stuff like going back in circles. And it's like, it's like when I, like throughout our discussion, there's things that came back around, like how you had a picture of common at your mm -hmm. house. And then it just so happened that Phoenix was in a common oh. video. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah. or the fact that the first video that I've seen was the 4321 by LL. Mm -hmm. but, he really, album. but not only that, but you know, he just recently got flat for remember when he gave his his route uh Mount Rushmore for Def Jam? I don't remember that. What did he say? So they asked him, he was on, um, I was think it was, um, I can't remember where they first asked him. It might've been on Club Shay, but they asked okay. him about, you know, who his uh, Mount Rushmore was. Mm -hmm. And he said, um, he said it should be him, Public Enemy, mm. uh, Beastie Boys and Slick Rick. Now mm. he, people were tripping about it and he got a lot of flack because they was like, well, what about DMX and, you know, and Jay-Z and, 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 you know, all these other artists that, 
have brought like a big thing to Def Jam. But he mm -hmm. was basically saying that, yes, those artists are big aspirations for catapulting Def Jam further than what it was. But without those four foundation, that he, that's the foundation. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have mm -hmm. a Def Jam without those four. So Facts. it's like for stuff to kind of get back to like a foundation is what I'm realizing from a lot of artists now that's coming out. It's like now they're trying to get back to the foundation of hip hop. And so that's one thing I noticed out of y'all. So it's like a, a big old circle. So when you were saying that y'all were using, you know, a certain. Uh, Wait, you got to bring it. You got to bring it back. Yeah. Paying homage and stuff. So it was just like, OK, I like how they. Yeah. yeah, yeah these, these are our foundational cats right there that we rock off of. It's, it's you'll probably never hear us rock over something that we really wasn't feeling. Yeah. Unless it's just a beat that's just so crazy. We got to touch it. But outside of that, it's like we love these songs. That yeah, we really go for the ones. When you hear, let's say, Chook ones or oh, yeah. Mama Said Knock You Out, when you hear them, like when the beat drops, you're like, oh, yes, yeah. yes. It naturally just things come to you. Like, yo, I feel I want to say this or I wanted to. This, this is how it sounds in my head. Like th just my version of whatever it is. And mm -hmm. I'm glad that I get to do that. Uh, and I think it's a gift to be able to express it, twist it, be a part of it. Yeah, yeah. You know, have it be in you and you just let it out and it comes natural to you. It feels good to you. So we're most definitely blessed. I believe we're going to meet all the artists that we rock off their tracks, too. I believe so, too. You know. Hey, speaking in existence, it's coming. <laughs> you know. Well, um, I know we're a week ahead, but I'm dro we this episode will come out on the 28th, which is your birthday, uh -oh. September 28th. So happy birthday! And we have a show that day. Yeah, uh, I'm, that's that's what I'm getting at. I'm gonna let like so. What shows do y'all have coming on like that day as well as the beginning of October? Sweet Auburn Festival, uh, one of Atlanta's most known first. You know, Sweet Auburn Festival. We've been going on for a long time. Shout out to our homie Devonte. Uh, ran into him in a parking lot. Boom. It was all she wrote after that. Um, September 28th to 29th, we are Sweet Auburn Fest. Rocking, you know, we, we might even be along with our, our homies, Miko Girls. Oh, shout out to Miko. We um, love girls. That's, that's some friends of ours, some family of ours. Yeah, they're, they're, they're up next for sure. They're, they're literally They are like next. The, they're next right now. They're like the new TLC. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you for keeping um, on them. So September 28th and 29th, we have Sweet Arbor Fest. Fest. The um, fifth, the fifth we have yeah, Cash. Cash. And that's in Tucker. Yep, um, 11. I believe we got DJ Greg Nice and a band. DJ Greg Nice. Which, that'll be the birthday celebration. Yeah, his um, birthday celebration. Um, so on October show. 5th. And then on the 6th, we're with Vision Dance. And it's a production that they're putting on that we are a part of. Yeah, shout we'll out be to performing. Song. It's like a dance theater type of vibe. So it was li literally like a musical okay. um, that we're a part of. I wrote a few songs for it, and then we have songs in it. And and Chalice is going to be there. We're yeah, going to perform. As a bonus, we're doing cool on that at the end, um, I believe. And then on the 16th and the 17th, oh, we are in booked in Alabama. Alabama, yeah. Um, so I think this is kind of just the, the warm-up to what we're really going to be doing. Mm -hmm. Cause oh, and then we're shooting the Any Up video on the 29th, right before we perform. Mm -hmm. So we're we're just making sure we stay busy, and we're doing our own flow of we're we're setting up ourselves, doing our interviews, doing our music videos. We're we're truly independent. Yeah, you know what I mean. I said that to say that truly independent, and we're we're prepping ourselves for. This big catastrophic thing that's about to happen with us and for us and the people around us, and we couldn't be more happier. Yeah, yeah. Well, from happier. well from gutter cane and serving the raw, I want to give both of y'all y'all flowers because uh, hey, I'll say this set of flowers. Yeah, not, <laughs> not not only for um, what y'all have accomplished so far, but for what I know y'all are going to accomplish in the future. You know, and uh, I'm just glad to have been a part of this. And, uh, you know, and like I said, we you know we tapped in. So 
we definitely gonna end up having to do this again. I also want oh, to oh yeah, we're gonna chance. have to do it again because all of us, from your platform to our platform, all of us are about to elevate and the fact yeah. that you rock with us first. Yeah. This is monumental <laughs> for all of us because I'm typically, as I was always coming up, I've always been a part of the first of something. Right, right. And everything that I've seen at being the first always became bigger than what I thought it would be. That's it. Yeah, shout That's out it. to your platform. Yeah, man. We appreciate you for having us and supporting our art and oh, uh, sure. knowing what we've been up to, you know, and actually genuinely like keeping up with us. Yeah. Yeah, because oh, yeah. he answered something that I he was like, yeah, remember you did this one too long? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Look, I try to do I try to do research. I try to do the research. He got that real journalism yeah. going on yeah. over there. Yeah. Yeah, but now I, I appreciate you so y'all even taking the time to do the interview, you know, and and yeah, you know, we we, we, we are on. honored, honored, definitely honored. It's, it's been an honor. We had mad fun. It, look, if you can't get on a, a platform and do a, a interview and it's not fun, you might as well not be doing it. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I'll I'll be watching watching people. And see what's going on, and I'm like, well, why are you even there if you're not going to enjoy yourself? Okay, and you know, there's two reasons why that happened. For one, the day when they <laughs> podcasters cut people off when they interview them, they interview them, they ask them questions, and then cut them off. And so mm. I try my best, like I'm like, I'm never doing that. So I make sure, like, whenever I ask questions, hell, I I wanna I wanna know the information that y'all have as artists. You know, and right. and y'all, and I, and I want to know y'all's story and stuff like that. So that's that's one of my my biggest things. You know, is is right. the, we're excited for people to get to know us. Hey, they need to take a a page out of your book yeah. instead of sabotaging people, because <laughs> yeah. you know a lot of them be setting them up. A lot of them be like, "Yo, well, let me ask you this question about this last fight you were in." You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's another thing. This is no drama. This is no drama zone right here. Yeah. Word, that, that, that's, that's it right you there. You should put that in the corner. Or no drama zone. Yeah, no, no drama like, zone. I'm going to do this. <laughs> you no got to. Zone. Let them know. Let them know before you come on here. No drama. Uh, right on time. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. hey, I ain't going to hold y'all up. No, I appreciate the time. <laughs> and um, we definitely going to do this again. But, indeed. Uh, I indeed. I want y'all to have a blessed day. You too, man. We Thank appreciate you. Too. you. Salute, salute, Already. salute. <laughs> Just make sure to coke fire.